just found it a friendly place growing up. It was just, people always went like, nice to you and it's only when you get a bit older you're, you're that like sticks in your mind that you think oh people aren't like this everywhere you go this is unique to our city sheffield people are warm and engaging and self-deprecating they don't they take themselves too seriously and got a good sense of humor and a lot of musicians like pack up and leave don't they and you know fly off to wherever they go to and i just i like staying here everything I, i've ever done is informed by being in this city and I think in, in the day and age of like social media and modern, modern digital communications, you can communicate with the entire world from Sheffield, can't you? First got involved in music, um, my mate Ed, who's the guitarist in the band, used to play in a band at school called Gypsy. And they used to play places like Carousel at Chapel Town and you know, boozers and that. And when we were like 15, we all used to go and watch them. And this were during the height of Britpop. So everyone were into music and guitar music and what have you. And I just used to think, I could do that. Just started doing some tunes with a fella called Alan Smythe, who was a bit of a legendary local producer. And me and him just started messing around in the studio and I'd invite my friends in to come and help me. And out of that studio project became Reverend and the Makers, really. And that became then a band. I've always had Ed with me. He's always like been my kind of partner in crime, really. We just kind of went from there really and here I am. Pulp were very inspiring to us because there were people from our city who'd been doing it a long time and then suddenly achieved a lot of success. You look back and like Sheffield's like birth of British electronic music, innit? You know, with what Human League did and Evan 17 and all them Cabaret Voltaire and stuff and, and it, it, in a lot of ways like got a lot to be proud of in this city. I think we've, we've, we're like innovators, aren't we, you know? The most memorable performance, probably the second year we headlined tram lines, because um, the turnout was just ridiculous and like no, oh, no more people wanted to come than could get in, and there were thousands of people on green. And I like Devonshire Green as a as a venue. I think like we ought to utilise that more as a city because I think it's the it's the art of the modern city in it where they really move town up to that area, and I think it just brings a lot of vibe if you put stuff in Devonshire Green. Music's changed my life immeasurably really um it's enabled me to you know buy an house and have a son and a wife and and live like a normal person really <laughs>